So today, I'm going to talk about this funky Dymaxion map car. So I made this model using photographic references on Google. There wasn't really anything that detailed. And it's kind of a, a sketch invention of Buckminster Fuller. It's like a flying car. And I made it for the London Fab Lab Dymaxion Buckminster Fuller Atlas installation thing that I did that you can see on my website. So here's the car, all complete, ready to send to your 3D print setup software, such as this, this case is Cura. Here's the, th the whole model, as you can see, like so. I'm going to go to view, view mode, go to layers, and I've added support touching build plate to show the support type. And we can do it layer by layer. And as you can see, there's a big, big, big support stuff going on here that's going to be kind of tricky to cut off with your scalpel. And if you're paying for your 3D prints, like most people do, if you're going to a bureau or a fab lab or a make, makerspace, you're going to print this out and then you're going to have to take all this off. And believe me, I've done this before with things like the ants and bees that I made and often it just breaks it. So you're going to take your nice print home and then you're going to try and cut this off and then it'll break and you'll have to pay for a new print. So a good way, good tip, when you're 3D printing, always think about it, things in the real world, like it's engineering. In 3D graphics, we can make anything. We can do VX, VFX, we can make things appear, disappear, blah, blah, blah. But when you're printing for the real world, it's kind of like uh, engineering or sculpture and we have to think about how things are going to hold up. So the solution here is that I split the car so it's got a nice... You know, the face is covered there and it's split and these are still the same model. So when we export the model, it's still the same model and we're going to load the model in Cura. Split. Bring the split in. And as you can see here at the back is the split model in contrast with the whole model. Let's bring up the layers. And the split model has absolutely no support type because these vertical bits, the wings, <laughs> the wings as they're called, are now not needing any types of support because if we look at the process of the print, on the left, see it going up, 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 and the wings are all vertical and you will not have to cut stuff out, you just glue these together. Here's the final one I did in a nice grey plastic and when I printed out I decided that I just really wanted them in halves. Here's the Buckminster Fuller map that I made for the Fab Lab London and these halves I decided to stick them on the wooden strips because it's almost, it's quite funky cool thing it's like the cars are these are almost like flight paths it gives the feeling of the connected world you know airplanes everything's connected which I love you know I love feeling that wherever you are in the world everything's connected you know it's it's cool in other words <laughs> okay well thanks very much be sure to check out my other YouTube videos subscribe and like if you like it comments questions that's great too check out my website for my artwork www.jamesableart.com Thanks very much for listening and speak to you soon. Bye for now.